HQ and in today's tutorial we're gonna build um, a very simple questionnaire mobile app or survey mobile app um, using Glide and Google Sheet. Um, so basically this will be a simple app which will allow you or you can publish it, share it with your users for example or with potential customers uh, and just collect some feedback, uh, some information or just ask uh, some questions. And uh, what you will need is just a Google account to create um, a Google Sheet as well as a Glide account and you can create free accounts for both of these services and start building for free. So the first thing you want to do is create a new Google Sheet. Uh, I actually did that already. I called it Questionnaire. Um, you can call whatever you like. And what you want to do as well, you want to create two sheets. Um, one sheet is going to be our question sheet, you, so you can rename that by just double clicking. Uh, and the others are answer sheet. And so we're going to use this questions sheet to basically uh, just simply display a list of all the questions we want to have within our app. Um, you can add uh, more fields. Currently, I just added one column here. Let's make that bold just to separate that. Uh, one column which is called question, which contains the question itself. If you want, you could add more information uh, for, the, for the question. So, I don't know, a description or a detailed overview. You could add a question image if you want to do that. Let's actually do that. I'm just going to add an image here. And um, I pre-populated this with some questions here. So what do you think about our product? What you re recommended to a friend? How did you find us? Um, <clears throat> did you did you purchase a product? Something like that maybe. Um, and yeah, you can insert your questions here. Um, of course, depending on what you want to ask the user about. And the image, we're going to actually upload that via Glide. So we're just going to keep that field here empty. So for our second sheet, which is called uh, our answers sheet, um, again, quite simple. This time we have two columns um, where, of course, one column is just the answer, which is submitted by the user, uh, and, of course, also the question. So for which question this answer is. So for the question, what do you think about our product? The one answer, uh, not so good. The other answer, it's great, and so on. And I just basically copied these questions here now from this sheet, posted them here, and created some sample answers. But we're actually going to populate this field also automatically via Glide using the form button action. So um, uh, you shouldn't worry about that, but I'm, you're going to see in a second how that will work. And that's basically it regarding our Google Sheet configuration. What you want to do next, you want to go over to Glide, uh, click on create a new app and choose the sheet you want to use as your basically app database. And uh, I chose the questionnaire sheet, so I did that already. And uh, if you do that, you'll be brought to the Glide editor. I'm just going to click yes here and reload the sheet. Um, and reload the sheet and as you can see um, we're in the uh, Glide app editor. Glide already recognizes we have two basically tab menus, questions and answers and our questions are already displayed here in this list. Um, but before I'm going to go ahead and uh, edit, start continue editing our app, uh, I want to go to data actually and I want to create a relation. Okay, So under the questions uh, sheet I want to add a new column um, and we're going to label this just answers for this question, okay? And it's going to be of type relation. Uh, it's going to be where the question, okay, matches the answers question and it can match multiple because, of course, multiple users can answer the same question. And we're going to click done. As you can see, it automatically works. We have, for example, three answers to the question, what do you think about our product? Uh, and three answers uh, for the question, how did you find us? And no answers currently for the two other questions. And we have this nice relation now, which we'll use in a second. But um, yeah, let's actually go back. And um, what I'm actually going to do, I'm actually going to remove the second tab answers because I think we only need one tab. Um, it's going to make things easier. And if you want to uh, share a quick uh, survey app, um, I think it's going to be easier if you just have a single page app. Um, with all the questions on one page. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to tabs. I'm just going to drag this answers tab here to our um, hidden tabs. So we don't need that. And now we don't have a menu here anymore. So let's go back to layout. Um, and under layout, we can decide what structure our app should have. So for example, tiles. Um, this is useful if you want to have the image displayed here. And we don't have an image yet, but we can just add one by dragging it from wherever it is onto the screen. So for example, so for example, I have a few uh, copyright-free sample images, uh, which won't make sense in this case. So I'm just going to use them to show you. You can just drag images um, on top of these uh, basically fields where the image should be, and Glide will automatically upload them and um, take care of the hosting and so on. So that's quite nice. 
So I've just dragged these images onto this question. As you can see, they're automatically displayed here and it looks quite nice. And we now have our, our overview of questions. So what do you think about our product? Would you recommend to a friend? I just changed that slightly. Uh, how did you find us and did you purchase the product? I just um, made some small changes to that. But yeah, we have this list here of, of, of uh, questions. Again, you can just drag an image on top of here and change it. Let's go ahead now and open one of these questions. So we're going to be brought to the detail view. And what we, what we want to do, we want to remain or let this question at the top here remain under title. But I want to remove this basic text here. We don't need that. Uh, what I want to do under title, I want to add an image, which is our image, of course. Okay. And I also want to add a form button. So let's just search for a form button. And the form button should say, um, answer this question. Okay. And when this is clicked, let's click that, a form is opened with the destination, which is our answers sheet. So, so we want to populate uh, a new row within our answers sheet from whatever is inputted here. And the answer itself should be a text entry, of course. The user should be able to uh, enter whatever text he wants. And the question, so for which question this answer is, shouldn't be inputted by the user. It should be just taken from our question column. Uh, and this should be applied to uh, our question field in the answers sheet. So quite simple, just the current question that is uh, answered is used as the column, uh, basically, or the row for the question column. Um, yeah, and that's basically, we can go ahead and answer this question, for example. So what do you think about our product? Uh, we can answer, it's horrible. Um, click Submit, and uh, this should be sent off. So if you go to our sheet now under Answers, um, we have a new entry here, the answer, which is, it's horrible for the question, what do you think about our product? And yeah, the last thing I just want to do is I want to add an inline list. So let's just search for an inline list. Um, and this should be the values for answers for this question, which is this relation we just created, okay? And should just be a list of all the answers that were submitted for this question. So let's first of all change the label, uh, answers to this question. And let's change the style as well. I just want to have a compact list with no title, uh, no image, and we just want to have these um, basically answers here. And we don't want to actually, we don't want to link to a detail screen because that won't bring any benefit for us. So let's just um, remove this um, detail screen link here. And so we just have this question here with its image, the ability to answer a question, as well as a list of all questions, uh, sorry, all answers that were submitted for this question. So we can go back here. For example, would you recommend to a friend? We don't have any answers here yet, so let's just answer this question. Um, uh, no. <laughs> and now we have our first, first answer here, which is no one. If we go back here, how would you find us? We have three answers, Google, Facebook, Twitter, and did you purchase a pro? We, have, we don't have any answers. And yeah, so uh, that's basically it regarding application. You can go ahead uh, to settings and change the icon, of course, um, of your application. So I'm maybe going to choose something like question, like this. Choose the color here of what your app should be, um, which will change all of these accent colors here, these colors here of the form button and so on. But um, yeah, I think uh, it's quite a good overview to just create a quick survey uh, and or questionnaire app, collect some feedback. Uh, and of course, you could uh, use other use cases for this as well. And yeah, that's basically it regarding this tutorial. Um, I hope you learned something and I want to see you guys for the next tutorial with NoCoHQ. Bye.